Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about photography sizes, so let's get into it. All right, so on this channel I talk about real estate photography, so if that's a topic you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. This video, in my opinion, is very important. It's kind of one of those sneaky videos that uh, go under the radar, but it's one of the, probably one of those things that I talk about that could potentially change your business. and. And, you know, not necessarily for all of you guys, but if you're into outsourcing your photography and moving files around, very important. So uh, this question is from AC Photo. Adobe DNG Converter changed our business a lot. Uh, I talked a lot about the DNG Converter. You can check that out in the link below. But he says, you really shrink them down to 500 kilobytes each. That's crazy if it retains enough information to edit high quality. Uh, thanks for the gold mine of great content. And yes, uh, I actually pulled one up just so you could see. Now this is probably the smallest example. Depending on the customer, uh, you might not be able to get away. In this case, 1440 by 960 dimensions of uh, the end product. So we shrink it down pixel wise um, in Adobe DNG Converter. And then it's still a raw image, right? So yes, let's go over here to my computer and you can see all these DNG files, you can see um, the average is probably 500, but you can see that some of them are 275 kilobytes. Uh, the highest on this particular property is like 1.3 megabytes. So it fluctuates between that, but m m on average, they're probably around uh, four or 500 kilobytes. You can just see uh, these and retain a lot of information. Uh, in these, you, you'll be surprised. You should tr try it out. Obviously, it's a smaller image, right? Because you're shrinking it down. It's not as many pixels as like a 50 megapixel uh, image. But not only that, but you, you still retain all your native white balance information. And there's still uh, tons of information in the highlights and the shadows, which for me was surprising, right? And I was surprised of how small these files are. They're literally smaller than the JPEGs and they have way more information. So whatever formula that Adobe uses is very efficient. And so when you're able to shrink your images down this small, so if you have outsourced editors, people on the go need to upload and download, you know, it allows us to start editing photos faster because we can upload on the go. We're not uploading gigabytes of worth of of properties it's as you can see very small and then on the editor side there's not much lag time to download and start editing in addition to that the computer is not having to use as much horsepower to process the photos because they're already smaller so you can also edit more efficiently so that's why i talk about this tool being a game changer for our business because because you can see how many aspects of it um, of our business, it has changed, right? And it allows us to deliver even faster to our customers and also to charge them more because we do charge for three hour turnaround time. And if it wasn't for this process that we do, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that. We wouldn't be able to commit to that and deliver on it um, all the time to our customers. So boom, business changer still to this day sneaky uh things there's a there's a lot of little sneaky topics that i talk about on this channel i may not talk about them all the time but they can definitely uh change and improve your business efficiency for sure anyways that's it for this video if you got value give it a double thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one